Welcome back, fellow slot car fans. I'm Jeremy, and this is Garage of Slot Cars. Okay, today on Garage of Slot Cars, um, a question I get asked a lot is how do I figure out what size tires, aftermarket tires, fit my Carrera cars? As we all know, Carrera does not put the same size wheel on their cars. Every car is different. Uh, um, so, uh, I had a suggestion, someone in the comments, um, suggested that that would make a good video and i agree because this is one of the questions i had starting out is how in the world do i figure out what size tires to buy so today i'm going to walk you through my method uh, and this will be a carrera car and this will be a paul gauge urethane tire that's what i use um, if you use quick slicks or silicone um, you're going to have to ask another expert in the field because that won't be me um, all you'll need for this is a, you will need a caliper to measure. Um, now, I work in a machine shop, so I have a $500 set of Michitoyo calipers at work. You don't need that. At home, I have this plastic Pittsburgh, um, we're not making aircraft parts here, plastic Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. I think it's $9.99, $10.00. It's plastic, it won't hold up. But for home use and for measuring slot car tires, it's perfect. This is all the money you need to spend. Um, you can probably get these online, Harbor Freight online, if there's no Harbor Freight near you. But really, buy the cheapest calipers you need. Um, you don't have to be that precise. You just need a measuring tool for this. So, without further ado, I will, uh, oh, thanks for watching. And the best way to support me is to subscribe, please, if you like this. And I'd like to apologize for my last video. Um, I watched it back and it was way too dark. Um, I have a big, I got a big light out this time. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, I learned this video stuff on the fly. Um, just like this, I'm going to turn this camera on. We're going to do some close-up videos. And I have a... Uh, close-up lens I'm going to put on my camera. I'm learning, so I'm going to try to make clear pictures for you guys. I've got the light on. I should have plenty of light. Um, should have good audio. Um, so bear with me some of my older videos where there's a learning curve. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, without further ado, let's turn this camera around. I will switch out lenses, and I will walk you through my process all right here we go okay i'm back uh <laughs> wow i um i recorded this video i know you guys don't care but uh i recorded this video and uh i was playing it back and my microphone died halfway through so you don't know this but this is my second time going through this <laughs> hate myself okay I'm going to tell you three different ways to find what tires fit this car this is one of my new arrivals unboxing video um, KTM Expo Carrera cars now I left this one for this video because this car doesn't work on the easy way and you'll find that sometimes okay so way number one to find Paul Gage tires for your Carrera car. Go to slot. I have a pointer. Go to slot car corner. They are the place for tires. Okay. They have a drop down screen over here. And you're going to go to tires by brand. Now they have quick slicks, which I've mentioned. I don't know anything about. Paul Gage Urethane. Through Paul Gage Urethane. Okay. Paul Gage Urethane tires. Now you can go by brand. Hit Carrera. 
Okay, so here's easy way number one, car model. Hit that. Go down here and find KTM Expo. So we're going to go down to yes, G H I J K L. There's no K. Okay, let's look for Expo. Sometimes they do that. No. All right. Oh, side note while I'm here. If you have Carrera Trucksters, they're Wrecker. Go under Wrecker. Fits them all. So if we were to say, if this car was in here, like the Lamborghini Huracan, says there's two sizes. You hit that, hit apply. It tells you what size Paul Gage tires fit that car. That's easy way number one. Now, that's not going to work on this car. So we have to figure out what what size tires fit on this car since it's not on their list okay so oh i've been re-watching my videos and i say so too much i have to stop that okay so we're going to go um to we're gonna let's see oh um it's been a while since i looked this up Uh, da, da. You can learn with me. Let's just go back to home. I know how to get to it but from home. Okay. So we're going to tires by brand again. Paul Gage Urethane. Now on the main page, it explains some things like XPG, PGT. We'll explain that. If you're new to Paul Gage tires, take a few minutes to review this section. In yellow are links. Understand Paul Gage tire part numbers. Let's go to this. Um, gives you some general information saying you, you should probably sand them and true them. Um, talks about the compounds. Paul Gage has two compounds, PGT and XPG. Has a little video. Now, go down here. Uh, Paul Gage part numbers. Click on that. This opens this chart. Okay. The tires we're putting on this car are PGT 2012 5LMXD. What in the world does all that mean? <laughs> okay. I'm here for you. Okay, let's start with this first number, PGT. They'll all have this. They'll start with this. This is compounds. Paul Gage has two compounds. PGT is a firm Shore 80 40. It says minimal wear, will grip the wheel more, good on all surfaces. XPG, soft, Shore A20. It says normal wear, more flexible tire, may need gluing to the wheel more traction on smooth surfaces um, you can do your own research if you have a wood track or something i would suggest buying some of these xpgs and trying them for yourself plastic home carrera track which i have pgt is perfect and you don't have to glue them to the wheel now i've got i've got an xpg right here which i bought for the trucksters just to try ones and it slips on the wheel. It needs glued. Um, it didn't work any better than the PGT. And it's going to wear out faster. I just stick with the PGT. That works excellent on my track. Carrera plastic track. And I know it says firm. Here's a PGT. It's not firm. It's soft. It's flexible. It's stretchy. It's grippy. So don't let the word hard throw you off. It's not a hard tire. It's softer than Carrera stock tire, I promise you. Here's where it gets tricky. Our first number. This is a 20. Okay, for this, you're going to need a set of digital calipers. They don't have to be digital. I recommend digital. Six inches. Now, I work in a machine shop. I have a set of $500 Michitoyo coolant oil proof calipers. 
you don't need that. You're not making machine aircraft parts. This is plastic, plastic teeth, plastic gears. It is $9.99 at Harbor Freight. If you don't have a Harbor Freight near you, go online. This is all you need for at home measuring tires. Don't spend a lot of money. You're going to get the same results at home. Okay, so our first number on this one is a 20. This is confusing because this number is the outside diameter of this tire but it's when it's mounted on a 15 millimeter wheel so if it's mounted on a 17 millimeter wheel your 20 is not going to measure 20 it's probably going to measure a 21.5 if it's measured on a 14 millimeter wheel it's not going to measure 20 it's probably going to measure 19 this is the most confusing number okay so let's turn this on and let's measure what we have here we have sorry I got a bunch of loud people upstairs I told them I'm filming a video they don't care this is a 20 23 millimeter we'll call it 23 okay but is it on a 15 millimeter wheel let's measure this wheel no it's not it's on a 16 so this 23 is probably 22 21 <laughs> I'm, hopefully this is going to make some kind of sense to you um so i think a 21 would work on this i had this tire in my toolbox so I think a 20 is close enough. There is some leeway in these numbers, and I'll show you. Okay, so let's go to our next our next number is the width. So this one's a 12. Okay. So I keep saying so. My God. Irritate myself. Let's measure the width. 9.7 so this probably needed 10 however i like to put the widest tire possible on this carrera and th this has a little room between the tire and the chassis there so i'm going to get wider i'm going to at least try wider i had it so instead of a 10 so a 21 10 might work a 20 10 20 11 i'm going to try this 2012 since i already had it Okay, so our next number, 5, that is our rib width. What is a rib? This is a Carrera wheel. It has a center rib. Okay, so let's measure how wide this bad boy is. It is... It's a 5.5, 7. Five and a half, six. So this probably needs a six. This probably needs, so if we're being, just wanting to extremely fit this, we would probably go with a 21, 10, six for this car. But I'm going to show you how stretchy these tires are. This will work. I've already put one on it. Okay, so I had a five on hand. Um, like I said, there's some leeway in these numbers. Um, now, Sometimes that's it. Sometimes it's followed by letters. LMXD. These are two sets of numbers. LM is right here. So these wheels, 13 to 15 millimeter wheels, will have nothing. 16 to 18 millimeter wheels will say LM. And what that means is the opening. In the middle of this is going to be, keep bumping the camera, it's going to be bigger for an LM to help stretch it over the wheel. So, this wheel my goodness, this wheel is a 16. So it is bigger than a 15, so we need an LM. Okay. Now, the next set of letters, XD, what is that? Come down here. 
Now, I'll say now instead of so. How about that? Um, if it has nothing, this is the sidewall. They have these other letters for different sidewalls. Rounded sidewall, S, E, V. I don't use any of these ever. Okay. So our XD is found here. If this rib is one millimeter deep, you want no, no letters. If it's one and a half millimeters deep, you want it to say XD. If it's two millimeters deep, you want it to say XXD. Now I have used all three sizes of this on Carrera. They will change. Now, this is kind of hard to measure. I use this end, and I'll put that right on my wheel, and I will eyeball about where that rib starts. It's going to be real hard to get on camera there. It's about a 1.7 deep. So we want the XD. If this was 2 or above, we want the XXD. So this is a, let's review. PGT, that's the harder compound, 20. So this is going to measure 20 inches diameter on a 15 millimeter wheel. Our wheel was 23. We're going to, this is going to measure 21, 22 once we mount it on this larger wheel. 12 is the width, width of our tire. The 5 is the width of our rib. LM means we're going, we have a larger than 15 millimeter wheel. And the XD means we have a one and a half millimeter deep rib. <laughs> Hopefully, I have not lost you yet. There is another method, a third way. Let me show you. Okay, so, so I said it again. Let's try it. Okay, these polygrades urethane will have a smooth finished side and a side with some flashing from the mold. I usually mount that on the outside, and as I'm chewing these tires, I'll sand that, and then I'll flip it around so the nice side's on the outside of my car. Let's mount this tire. These are stretchy, really stretchy. Look, it looks like it's not going to fit, but it will. Let's move. Let's go ahead and move this. We're pretty much done with that. Now, I usually have the body off when I'm doing this. My goodness. Watch me struggle so you don't have to. Get it around here. Get it seated on that tire and that is beautiful okay so this one is 23 and a half our new Paul gauge remember this was a 20 it's about 23 and a half because we mounted it on a bigger wheel so it stretched it out now our width was 12 here we've got 9.4 on Carrera. Look how much wider that is. And it doesn't rub. There's clearance. And if you need more clearance, you can trim this plastic back here. Or you can sand some of the width out of this tire. Um, but look at that. I got a lot more width than the stock Carrera tire. Let's measure. 11.6 millimeter. 12 almost. Nice. So there you have it. That fits really good. Now it's got a little bow to it. We'll we'll true that tire. And this feels here. We'll have some side by side. Carrera Paul Gaze. This this is a Carrera tire. This feels grippier. Every bit is soft, maybe softer. Um this feels like it won't stretch as far. This feels like it'll stretch for days. So, I really, really love Paul Gage tires. 
And I'm just running my hand across this. This one definitely has a lot more grip. And we've got a lot more width, a lot more patch on the track. And it looks good. So, okay, third method. Let's go back. Let's X out of here. Um, I, and I invite you, go to Slot Car Corner and read all this. Maybe they explain things a little better than I do. Um, like it says here, if you're new to Paul Gage tires, take a few minutes, click here. They'll, they have other pages and instructions and uh, things like this. Um, let's go to home. Okay, here's the third method. So let's say we went to the car model. The KTM Expo is not in there. It's not. Um, we don't have these, or we don't understand these numbers, and we just can't figure it out. Here's the third way, right here. Contact us. These are great people. <laughs> Fill this out. Your email... Put your email in here and put subject Paul Gage tires and put in here. I bought, I purchased a Carrera 132nd scale KTM Expo. I don't see the tires in your chart. Could you please help me and tell me what size tires will work on this car? Paul Gage urethane. These people, they know how to do what I did better than I do. And they're great people. And they're going to email you back with what size tires you need. So there. Three ways to find tires. And so now there's no excuse for you not to be able to buy Paul Gage tires for your Carrera car. Um, I have, have my big light out. <laughs> um, I apologize for my last video being so dark. Um take my time and try and fix these issues I have plenty of light now so this is your stock car tire it's good it's okay it may melt <laughs> just sitting on the shelf one day see the see the space we got there and it's see how it's it's tucked in under the fender look at this Paul gauge we're about as wide as we can get without hitting anything and look, we're fatter than the fender. See that? Look at that. We got tires sticking out over on this side. We've got a fat, squishy, grippy Paul Gage urethane tire that will not melt in the box. And when you true this, these are excellent tires for stock Carrera track. Now, some people swear by silicone, and you don't have to true them, I heard. Um, many other things. Um, if you want to do that, do that. That's all you can run on your track is silicone, and your track has to be clean. Urethane is a little more forgiving. It will not, your rubber tires leave a little bit of rubber residue down the track, which helps grip. Urethane will not remove that. Silicone tires will remove that. So I use a combination. Some cars have rubber. Some cars have urethane. Most of my cars are urethane. I have no silicones on my track. So I don't want the rubber residue removed. And I don't want to have to have a perfectly clean track. Sometimes I have a little bit of dust. Paul Gage urethane are a little more forgiving on that. Um, but each their own. Everyone's different. That's why there's different brands. There's some people that swear by silicone and love them. Um, I'm going to swear by urethane and I love them. So, um, I had many people ask how I figure out which tires fit. And like I said, I had these in my box. So once I measured for this, I was like, this is kind of close. Let's see if it fits. So, and, and, and the ball gauge tires are $4.99 for a set. Um, so plus shipping. So when I'm ordering some Paul Gage tires, I usually get order. This is a fairly popular size, twenty to twenty-one 
on Carrera, 10 to 12 to 13 on width, 5, 6 on their rib usually. Most are LM, uh, most are XD, some are XXD. Uh, you just buy several sets around this size, and I had these on hand. Um, 2012-5 LM XD fits a lot of Carrera cars. They fit their DTM, they fit the Porsche 911 RSRs. And I always seem to have a bunch of those on hand. So, anyway, you just you could stock up if you wanted. Um, that's about all I have for this one. I hope this helps you, and it leaves you with no excuse, right? You have an easy chart if your model's in there. You have instructions on how to measure and get close enough. And if all else fails you, I showed you where the contact button is. Slot Car Corner are great people. They'll get right back with you. And we now have, we will true these up, and we will have our KTM Expo ready to run. So with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we will burn on out of here. Mm-hmm.